the final guard of honor here in Port Moresby for the founding father. While many thought the program would proceed to the family boarding the aircraft, unfortunately the people had a different opinion. <laughs> crowd disagreeing with the casket of Grand Chief being placed in the cargo end. The only silence came when Lady Veronica arrived at the VIP terminal. After Lady Veronica was escorted into the terminal, the chanting started again. The crowd now even more rowdy and on the tarmac, the Speaker of Parliament Job Poma taking the initiative to try and speak with the crowd to calm them down. Arthur Somaria joining the speaker in urging the crowd to allow him to take his father home without confrontation. 17 plus time, 17 plus plus year, no 50 years. You plan honor him, man. Or probably you plan, or tomorrow you plan. He honor him, man. You plan look out, man, look for time he come. Now time he put on finish. Please, me ask him all people of Papua New Guinea. You plan honor for Papua me. He go to bless. In the midst of calming the crowd down, the family received news that the public in Wewek had heard of the casket being placed in the cargo area of the aircraft and also did not agree. Arthur then announcing the decision to allow his father to be flown out by the Royal Australian Air Force C-27 that had took off and was 30 minutes into its flight to Wewek. <laughs> The casket of Sir Michael was then taken out from the Q400 with his daughter Dalciana Nia. As the C27 landed and offloaded passengers who were on board, dark clouds slowly made their way over the airport, as if nature was signaling it was time for the father of the nation to leave the nation's capital. Grand Chief's casket was then loaded onto the C27. As the doors closed, the final washdown from the Port Moresby end was given. And as the crowd pushed past security personnel to wave goodbye to Papa Somare, rain showers fell as the C-27 took off with Grand Chief. With many agreeing, the rain showers was Papa Somares saying goodbye. Adelaide Sirakskari National, MTV News.